After a long stay in the Port of Bergen, U-606 is finally ready for her next war patrol. Our orders from BDU are to patrol grids AM2 and AM5, right off the United Kingdom. I expect this is going to be a very dangerous patrol due to Allied ASW presence in the area. Loaded up with fuel, torpedoes, and provisions, U-606 slips away from her shelter in Bergen under the cover of darkness. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back aboard U-606 as we begin another patrol in U-Boat. The boat is currently departing Bergen, Norway. It's currently 5.26 in the morning, and we are not far away from the port at all. Some of you more keen-eyed viewers may notice we have a new crew member on board, Jacob here, and he is another engineer. His shift is a bit unusual. He has four hours on and four hours off, so that way he can preheat torpedoes and stuff. This is going to be his main job, um, while the other two mechanics work on the diesel engines and maintain them. I always found having a third mechanic is quite useful. Um, I'm sure other people have different setups, but it tends to work rather well for me. So I'm quite happy to have another mechanic and that'll certainly help us uh, keep our torpedoes preheated at all times. Other than that, the boat is loaded up. We already have water in the bilge. That is not too surprising. Uh, our torpedo yeah, loadout is pretty basic. Lots of T1s and quite a few T2s here. And in the stern torpedo room, it's more of the same. I do believe we actually have two T2 torpedoes in the stern torpedo room. Storage, all the good stuff. I actually brought bold decoys this time uh, so we can uh, shoot those off if we are being hunted. And it should uh, confuse the allied sonar operators, at least for a little bit. Lots of canned food, canned bread, bread, all that good stuff. Galley's full. Quite a bit of deck gun ammunition, 32 rounds of high explosive and 40 HE. And that's about it for there. Our cook is uh, in good shape. He's in there cooking up something nice. Diesels are running. We are going 17 knots. Let's actually reduce that. Let's all, let's go uh, one third, shall we? That should help fuel consumption. And then torpedo, yeah, both T2s. That's what I thought. Other than that, no real changes on the boat. No new equipment or anything like that. We are operating with the same configuration as the previous patrol. Our orders, however, are quite interesting. As you can see, there's Bergen. If we go across, we are to patrol here, grid AM2 and AM5. And this is awfully close to the United Kingdom here. So it's going to be quite dangerous. I'm expecting a lot of aircraft for one and also a lot of escorts. Uh, but we will see a lot of convoys are probably going to be going in and out of here, out of the Irish Sea and heading towards uh, Canada and the United States, and also from Canada and the United States. So uh, I'm hoping we can intercept some large convoys out here. There are some pretty large convoys in the game, and we haven't encountered a whole lot of them, so that would be quite cool indeed. Other than that, I think that's all I really have for the time being to, to really report. There are quite a few awesome features in the works. Oops. In the works for U-Boat. Uh, there have been some recent developer diaries uh, showcasing like milk cows, for example. So that is going to be quite fun to play with uh, when the new patch finally rolls out. They also redid the map and it has this pretty cool, you know, paper look to it. And I'm pretty happy with that. So uh, quite a few exciting things coming uh, down the pipeline for you both. I'm looking forward to it very much. Anyway, that's all I really have for this little uh, introduction slash ramble. I'm going to go ahead and cut now and get back to you folks whenever we have found something rather interesting. U-606 has made it to her patrol grid. We are doing a quick hydrophone check to see if we can find anything here. We are going to make these hydrophone checks more frequent now that we are in our patrol area. And I'll let you know if we come across any enemy shipping. Hmm. 
Well, 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 we have something interesting here. Propeller Noises, a small group consisting of 5 to 12 ships. We are certainly going to investigate. Let's go ahead and mark down its current position. Like so, and use a little bit of time compression to kind of kind of see where they're going. What's their course? Looks like they're pretty much just heading east. You know, like 080, something like that. All right, mark that. And let's see. They are heading 088, so okay, yeah, pretty much just straight east. Okay, and we'll just draw this line out like so. We should be able to intercept fairly easily. Here is our current position, just doing a standard hydrophone check. Let's move around here, shall we? And while I'm at it, let's get one of you to check our depth under keel. I'm not too worried about it here. We are in the middle of the Atlantic. Oh, actually, no, we're not. It may be pretty shallow. A, hundred, a thousand plus meters, though. Okay, yeah, we're far enough. Then we are golden. We should be able to escape quite easily. We also have quite a few bull decoys to use in case things get super hairy. Yeah, I, I know we're at periscope depth. Thank you for that. Let's turn on our pump a little bit. Get that small amount of water out. But other than that, the boat is operating normally. We are going to probably surface the boat here momentarily to try to rush into position. Submerge once again and lay in wait for uh, this group to just cross our path. I'll get back to you folks whenever we have made uh, proper contact with this small group. Okay, we are in the process of submerging U-606 here. We are right pretty close to their track, around five kilometers away, so we should be able to pick them up on Hydrophone. Let's drop our speed down to slow as well. Hydrophone operator is on station. All of our torpedoes should be preheated at this point. Okay, yeah, as, I, as I say that, what are you doing there? Let's check our bow torpedoes. Oh boy, they are not actually preheated. Okay, well then we will begin doing that now. I'll have both engineers uh, start. Let's get, there we go. Already picked them up. Perfect. Where are they? And they are further south than uh, originally anticipated. Which is interesting. Hmm. Go ahead and mark that position. And he's preheating more torpedoes. Perfect. Looks like they they're probably probably zigged because it looks like they're kind of heading northeast now. Let's mark their position now. It could be possible that this is an inaccurate contact as well. Hey, okay, let's draw this out. Yeah, zero seven six degrees now. Something like so. Okay, very interesting. Let's run parallel to that, really. We're actually in a pretty solid position. And we will continue to close in. I'll make sure the boat is ready for action with all of our torpedoes warmed up and ready to go. And I'll get back to you all soon. Okay, this is interesting. We lost contact, and then they popped up back here. Inaccurate contact. They may be anywhere in the radius of 14 kilometers. That is, uh, that is quite the distance. And it looks like they are actually to the north. Okay. A small mix-up. Hopefully, let's see. Hopefully, we can get into visual range here. Start moving forward to... Should bring our speed up to, wow, five knots. Okay. Yeah, we should be able to get into position here. Okay, we have picked them up. It looks like it is a small group. It says warships. So we have a Corvette here in the lead. Let's turn off our gyro compass. And let's also switch to manual steering, please. Oop. Let's get you a helmsman station and you improve depth keeping so we don't breach the surface or anything like that a little bit of time compression going three corvettes i don't really 
Not a fan of that. Sprint just a little bit and slow down. Yeah, if this is just a whole bunch of Corvettes, then I really don't uh, don't think it's worth engaging. Let's start reversing slowly. I don't know. We're three kilometers away. I can probably keep moving forward. Okay, there's a destroyer. That, that may be worth uh, attacking with just one torpedo. Let's raise this bad boy up. See, where are they? There they are. Is it all warships? Corvette. There we go. There's a nice looking destroyer. Another Corvette. Corvette. The problem is if we attack this, we're going to have to run away as well and escape their wrath. It's probably easier just to not attack at all. Let's lower our scope a little bit. And I'll wait for a target that will actually go towards our quota. We have to remember we have to sink 10,000 tons of trade ships. So these are not going to count for it. It's probably just a hunter-killer group roaming. Yeah, so I'm going to make the decision to uh, not mess with that. <laughs> We're going to drop down to 90 meters meter. and turn this boat around. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. And while we are at it, I was going to do something else. Oh, yes. Drop your periscope. Not that it's going to matter when we're at a depth of 90 meters, but... Okay, and I think we're good to kind of get out of here. Yeah. I mean, it'd be fun to attack them, I guess. Depending on your definition of fun. But I'm just going to uh, avoid this for now and, again, wait for more... More uh, tempting targets, larger targets. Targets worth torpedoes, because what? I mean, these destroyers are not worth much. Uh, like a tribal class is, what, 1,400 tons? So, okay. Anyway, let's break away and continue our patrol. As you can see, we are almost done with our main objective, traveling 2,500 kilometers inside of grid AM2 and AM5. I think once we have completed this objective, I'm going to head down here towards this Western Approaches checkpoint and just grab that. And then uh, just patrol the North Atlantic for any very large convoys, hopefully. Um, and we'll just continue to attack that convoy on their way to Canada. Or if the convoy is on its way back from Canada to the UK. Uh, doesn't matter. I'm not picky. Okay, we have a problem. I just surfaced the boat after a long hydrophone check, and we have a contrail here. Enemy aircraft. Let's quickly get under all ahead flank. Oh, it's coming in pretty fast, too. All right, boys. Get under, get under. Okay, it looks like it may not have spotted us. What's our depth? Slowly getting under. I don't see the contrail here, but... Okay, we're under. Okay, first off, turn off the diesel compressor. Or it sucks all the air out of the boat. My goodness. And someone turn that off? Immediately? Okay, down to 50 meters. Thank you. Okay, slow the boat down. And we will stay submerged for a little bit longer. Close call. Close call for sure. Okay, something else of interest. Another tiny group spotted down here. Three to six ships. Hopefully it's not another uh, group of destroyers. Now it looks like they are heading west. Mark their position again. Should be able to intercept them relatively easily. Looks like they are heading 257 degrees. 257. Oh boy. There we 
go. 257. And we will try to intercept like so. Yeah, if we hit the surface and start going, say, full speed, we should be able to maneuver into position rather easily. I'll keep you all updated. Well, 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 what do we have here? <laughs> Four transports. One of them seems to be a neutral freighter. Uh, I won't sink her, but everyone else here is a uh, fair game, if you ask me. Let's try to maneuver into position here to fire a torpedo off. What's the distance between these two freighters? I may be able to fire a bow and stern. Uh, 670 meters. That doesn't give us a lot of, a whole lot of leeway. All right, let's move north of the freighters. And do something like this. That should work out for us. No destroyers. This is fantastic. I was halfway expecting it to be another, you know, hunter-killer group or something, but four merchant ships? I'll take it. What what nationality is this one? Oh, okay. Swedish. Okay, we're going to turn now and begin working on our solution. Slow down. All right, perfect. Up periscope. Let's get on here. It's, wow, it's quite dark. Uh, it's because our periscope is beneath the waves. And I'll explain that. It still is a rather dark night. All right, which one are we going to torpedo? It looks like a... Yeah, this one looks like a pretty good target there. And that one seems to be the heavily armed one. Lock on target. Yeah, look at all those those guns there, especially on that rear platform. Let's identify her. Not a Liberty. I believe this will be a C3. Yeah, C3 cargo ship. Unlock. Let's check. Uh... Oh, this one has quite a few guns as well. And let's identify her. Liberty cargo. How about you? Not a whole lot. Okay. That makes things uh, a little bit interesting here. So this is one Liberty cargo ship, and then this is the other one we need to take out. So we want to fire at this far one first. Captain. But we are going to... There we go. Let's go ahead and time this target out and try to get her speed. Length of a C3 is 145 meters. Okay, perfect. So we are going to time her from bow to stern. Start. And this is another way to get your target speed if you're curious. We are going to get get her length here which is 145 meters and the time for the ship to cross our crosshair here from bow to stern so it'll be 145 times or divided by whatever this value will be and then times two so hopefully i did an okay job at explaining that and that should give us the target speed in knots 35 seconds it looks like it'll probably be around 40 seconds Play a bit more. Okay, and stop. There we go. So, 145, the target length, divided by 45, the time. That gives us 3.2 times 2 is 6.4. So, she's going around 6.5 knots. Lock on target. And that should be the same for the entire convoy here. So, we are going to lock on to this Liberty cargo ship. I hope all of my torpedoes are preheated. Please, they are not shit. Okay, uh, get working. We should be able to still fire. Okay. Begin preheating those rapidly. We just need one, really. Go. One is preheated. 
All right, perfect. So a speed is six and a half knots. Go set. We'll be firing tube number one, angle on bow for this Liberty cargo ship. Let's see what that is. Looks like around 75, yeah, 75 degrees to starboard. I'm sure we are following the target. Range to target, we can go ahead and grab that real fast. And to the top of the mast, set. Two kilometers, okay. And flood tube one, that's what we'll be firing. Speed 40 knots, set that here. Depth 1.5, that should be good. And this all looks okay, bow torpedo. All right, use the information given to you by the TDC, Los. Okay, torpedo away, next target is going to be, oh, going to be you. This is going to be a trickier shot. Her angle on bow is pretty much just past 90, probably 100 degrees. Yeah, actually, it kept up quite well. Range one kilometer, set it at that. Okay, flood tube two, speed 40 knots as well. 40 knots, okay, looking good. Tube two, los. There we go, tube two away. It's unfortunate I, I botched that up and this may end up hitting this freighter unfortunately because she's in the way. We'll see, hopefully it passes her, but doesn't look like it will. That's okay, yeah, got her. Not the target I looked for, I was trying to hit, but I can, I'll can. i take it. It's going to be problematic whenever we try to surface. Okay, let's watch this ship. She's about to get hit as well. Looks like she may have slowed down, however, but that torpedo looks pretty good on the map here. Let's watch. Oh, wow, look at that fireball. There we go, another torpedo hit right in the middle. Perfect. Okay, and it looks like this first one is going down. All right, she's sinking, one going down. Let's get on our periscope. What, where are the gun platforms on that C3? Yeah. Couple of five inch guns on the, yeah, she is pretty heavily uh, <laughs> armed. Hmm. Liberty cargo ship is up in smoke though. Does not look too good. I could try to hit this uh, Liberty at this angle or the C3, excuse me. There we go. She's still moving. It's going to be rather tricky, but. Hello. I guess we could try it. I'm just worried if she's slowed down or anything after the torpedo struck. Let's set speed to 44 knots and preheat number three while we're at it. We'll see what she does. This will give us some time to watch her and let's change course and try to get into a decent position here. Some time compression. Looks like she's still just sailing in a, a straight line. She is not phased by her, her convoy mates uh, getting struck here. Oh, excuse me. Get on the periscope. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Angle on bow is pretty bad. Probably, yeah, 120 degrees to starboard. Six and a half knots, speed 44. Yeah, let's try it. We don't really shoot at funky angles, so... Um, there's a reason for that, but uh, why not? It'll be fun. 44 knots, 1.5. Six and a half knots. Range to target is going to be slightly different, though. Uh, no, no, no. Range, please. Let's just grab that real fast. Set. Yeah, one kilometer. Okay. Close. Okay. And we'll see how that torpedo does. It looks okay from here, but who knows? Oh yeah, I think that's actually going to uh, result in a, in a hit. We'll see though. 
Perfect. Right in the middle. A turkey shoot. <laughs> That's what that was. Okay. It's unfortunate I botched up the beginning with those with preheating the, the torpedoes. In real life, they actually would not have to preheat the G7A torpedoes, which we were just firing, but that's okay. I'm not complaining. That's another hit. If they abandon ship, we can surface and finish them off with a deck gun. Serious damage. Yeah, look at that. She may actually go down. Yep, they're hitting the lifeboats. Alarm. Okay, they have abandoned the vessel. Perfect. And I think this one will sink after one hit. Yep, she is sinking. Beautiful. Cypress Hills Park. Going down. So that leaves just one here. Surface the boat. Increase speed, or drop our speed down, actually. Have a little bit of water in the bilge. And we are not going to sink the neutral freighter. Okay, and you, my friend, once you can, we'll get you on the deck gun. You can be an opening fire. Okay, get on the 88. Let's assign two additional sailors to you. And let's make sure you are attacking the appropriate target. So you, we want you attacking, yes, this one. There we go. Whoa, is there a, an explosion going off out there? Yeah, she's still on fire, though. This is taking on a lot of water. It should not take a whole lot to finish her off. I'm actually going to order my men hold fire until we just get a little bit closer to the target. So we don't waste so much ammunition. All right, we'll, we'll run up right alongside her. Say hello. All right, we should be good now. Around 400 meters away. All right, open fire. Try to finish her off. Okay, so we are going to take over firing. Uh, they have wasted quite a bit of ammunition, so there we go. There's a hit. We'll just finish her off ourselves. And there we go, another hit. Yeah, it looks like she's in even worse shape now, but let's try to start some fires on her. She's sinking, perfect. And we'll align our duck gun like so. And leaf position, all right. Perfect, three ships and one attack. I'm gonna hang around here and see if there's any supply that may let me drop off. Now we can pick up and acquire. All right, one going down. Let's go ahead and send all of these reports to BDU. And we are, of course, not going to sink the the neutral ship. That's that's not a not a good idea, quite frankly. Oh, there is a package. Beautiful. Grab that. Nothing in that wooden chest. What a shame. Is there anything else out here? Some pontoons. Empty. Empty. Oh, they're all empty. About this one. Empty. What's up with all the empty, uh... What were you carrying? Nothing? Guess they were heading back to Canada, so... But still, I mean... I need food. What a shame. Anyway, we sent all those radio messages off to BDU. Is there any other goodies over here? Doesn't look like it, unfortunately. Wow, it's actually pretty dark. I, I do, this game does have a darker nights option, which I, I don't play with mainly because uh, YouTube compression just hates dark videos. As a lot of you know from my Silent Hunter videos. <laughs> uh, so 
I do play with the lighter nights, but it's actually quite dark tonight um, from the looks of it. Anyway, I think that'll do it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off and I will see you all on the next one.